Hey everybody, and welcome back to Swanky's Acorn Gaming. Um, <laughs> I'm recording a couple videos in one day because I am getting super enthralled in this game. So, um, no, I didn't dress the same for the last two videos plus this one, so three. But, uh, I am just recording a whole bunch in one day. <laughs> but you still have to unfortunately just wait for them to come out in succession and uh, really get enthralled by the story and enjoy what we're doing and really having a ton of fun with this game. Uh, so again, we are playing the medium. I believe this is part nine. Nine, I think. Yep, I'm pretty sure it's part nine. Might be part 10, but I think it's part nine. Um, so where we're at is um, we just got finally into the day, uh, the day room or like the daycare area. And um, Sadness just had a little bit of a freak out because she told us to find Richard. And then all of a sudden she remembered something about Richard. And then she was like, nope, I don't want to deal with him. So now we're kind of stuck in here. She ran off and I have no idea what's happening. So uh, we're going to go into it. It's kind of cool because the second part of the screen, it, w it's, it was like orange in the other ones but this one seems like really green and we'll see why i don't know it's weird so uh we're just gonna hop right back into it let's get going okay i'm gonna run skadooty doot <sighs> and i gotta cut it again this thing is so gross cutting it and it just feels like if they get like cool undulation <laughs> Go, just cut, 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 cut. Richard? Are you there? Nope, there's something here. A sheet of music. Well, at least part of it. Okay, so I'll have to combine it with something. Something. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. Thomas. Hey, Thomas. You know, we've been missing you, bud. We still have no idea who you are and why you asked us to come here. So, let's see. Thomas. I've always been stunned by the depths and complexities of his imagination mesmerized by the surreal dreamscapes his mind would weave. The way he described them, with every minute detail, it was as if he had actually witnessed all of it, as if something or someone had pulled the veil and allowed him a peek beyond the edges of our reality. An angel? A demon? Is there really a difference? I know it didn't matter to me, as his visions came alive on my canvas. Some would say I used the boy to fuel my waning creativity, but how could I not? To let this unique perspective, his bottomless well of inspiration go to waste, that would be an unforgivable sin. Okay, so Thomas could see what we were seeing, like this other world. Okay. There's a door there, so... That's another- oh god, there's so much to look at here. Cool. There we go. Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's- somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but... All right. I'll uh -huh. take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what Sadness said? Huh. Uh, is Mr. R... Okay, I remember the first time I met him, working a simple factory job, still more of a bore of 
four. <laughs> Sorry. Still more of a boy than a man. Wide-eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder like a scared animal. His parents had died in the Warsaw, Warsaw uprising. Of what he'd gone through in the years that followed, he did not want to speak, and I never pressed him. But it soon became clear he had no one else in the world. I could immediately tell that, despite his young age, he had seen things that no one his age should. I could immediately tell he was special. Horses. Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lilian. She's going to be joining our painting class. But why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lilian, I, I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends. Oh no, is Thomas Sadness's dad? Like Lily's dad? Oh my goodness, okay, whoa. <laughs> uh, I spent a few years trying to steer him in the right direction, trying to make him see the depths of his potential. He kept refusing, claiming that he was no painter, that he's no painter, and that he saw our little get-togethers as therapy rather than artistic expression. Eventually, I wore him down. He agreed to enter the university, but on the condition that it would be his chosen field. And so he started on his way to becoming an architect. At first, I was rather skeptical, thinking that he was throwing away greatness for, more comp for mere competence. But deep inside, I guess I was glad to be the only one to bring his visions to life. And then, he met her. Our painting sessions became few and far between. He no longer needed my help in dealing with the inner demons. <clears throat> okay, so let's try this door over here first. Cutters aren't gonna help me there. <laughs> okay, so through. Ah, come on. Okay. So let's go this way then. Because oh, anyway. this place is packed with memories. Bad ones. Guilt. Humiliation. Rage. Okay. It became a habit of ours. We'd sit down, sketchbook at the ready, and then he'd close his eyes and start talking, describing all the things he saw in his mind's eye, the horror and splendor of worlds beyond our own. What started out as an innocent exercise in imagination ultimately became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously as he described the indescribable. For a while, I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him, they seemed to be a burden, a source of great pain and distress. But finally, I understood. He sought to share them with someone who saw him, saw them as a source of beauty rather than madness. Not what most people go through that actually have mental illness. They don't want you to see it as a issue. They want you to just really be there for them, right? So There's a sense of loneliness coming from it. It feels incomplete. Oh, I got nothing to put in it yet. Okay. Okay, and I can't go that way, right? 
Okay, so let's go back over here because I think I can get through it. Yeah, I just gotta do my focus. Oh, it's gonna be a face. Oh god. in the other world. I don't think there's really much of anything else I can do in here. Find my lonesome. Yeah. Okay, back we go. And across, okay. <laughs> Sometimes the controls on here get kind of stuck. Stucky stuck. Oops, that one. Show me a way out of here. This is really gross. What's that? Hold on. Hold up. Taken away. Oh. Wait. Is a butterfly girl sadness maybe? And we I I'm still really confused. I'm really wondering. Like I know that sadness is sadness, but what if like there's more to it than that? I think we originally came from here. have all the sheet music. I thought that tree branch was like a hand and <laughs> internally died. Oh gosh. There we go. I love this melody. It reminds me of my childhood. At least the good parts of it. But the bad parts, they're always there, aren't they? You're a very smart girl, Lily. You know that, don't you? You're special. Her voice, is that sadness? sadness? I guess, like, I guess I can look at this. I mean, it's not gonna help me any right now. Oh. That's what I need to do. The spark's too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. Okay, okay. 
so hard to concentrate on like both sides of this. Okay. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing real good on time. See? Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Ah, uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? Richard, I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. <laughs> Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. So, he brought him here? I wonder who he meant by them. What if Thomas actually is the one that started it all then? Released. So, that's how you found him? Yes. He was just lying there. He... Uh... Mr. Reckon? I, I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just... Uh, need a moment. That's not true, Thomas. You thought he... deserved it. Ha. Huh. The plot thickens if it was not thick enough. <laughs> Once he got engaged, he grew apart for a while. We grew apart for a while. Now that I think of it, I guess I was jealous. I no longer had him all for myself. In time, I warmed up to her as well. She was striking, both in her beauty and intellect. Eventually, I accepted the fact that he had found true happiness, true love, strong and pure. Well, as pure as it can be, I guess. In any case, I was no longer needed. When the project came along, the one that would eventually be known as Neva, I pulled all my strings to get him what he wanted, even though I knew it would drive an, an even bigger wedge between us. I wanted the best for him. He was the closest he was the closest to a son that I'd ever had. Well, it sounds like Richard really might have been actually a nice guy almost. And that should be all the pieces of the score now. We actually might be getting real close to the end here, guys. I have no idea. Okay, well, we can't go in that way, so we gotta go in this way. Oh yes, because now I gotta go and walk through the grotesque moth bundle over here. Okay, I'm gonna say we go... This way. Okay. Oh! Oh, look at the hands out there! Out the window! From the window... to the wall... Okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, 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 laggy, laggy, hold on. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Alright, we're good now. It had a moment. I've been pushing my, my baby computer a little harder than I should. Drawing me for hours. 
hours. Almost done. You know, Lily, you remind me of someone. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes. With a young, innocent love, free of the ferocity of adult <laughs> lives. Richard. Well, I'm getting a weird vibe from him. Oh. There's grief, sorrow, and something else. Oh no. Please don't tell me this is gonna start to get like a little creep creeper. Okay. Sorry, automatically starts to try and roll, so. Um, I was finished. They had to let me go. Me. Richard Tarkovsky, whose work were works were recognized across the continent, whose imagination, as they said, knew no bounds, whose very name became syn synonymous with the fine art. All of that meant nothing to those soulless bureaucrats. To them, I was just a liability, a source of dangerous liberal ideas. I felt betrayed, empty. I needed to get out away from the hollow sickness of the city and but most of all i needed a friend and so i sought him out i knew his wife had died some months earlier at the time i thought it best to not interfere with his grieving and so now i feared that he'd hold it against me for not being there when he needed me the most instead he offered me a home There, whoop, nope. There are so many twists. So many twists. There's obviously something here. <clears throat> oh. God. So what it is, guys, is I have to actually, like, see if I can kind of maneuver this around to, like, ugh. Oh there. And then I have to hold it. Are old to be playing with dolls? Here. I bought it especially for you. Oh, a ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Here, let me... Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Ah, uh, what was that? It's like something stirred inside him. Yeah, I think this is gonna start to get real icky creepy. I don't like that. There's so much story here. This is cool. I like this idea of the story- oh, sorry guys, I was in like the lower half of the screen. I didn't mean to... Oh, God! What have I done? It feels... cold. What have you done? Uh... uh okay. Oh no, don't skip now. Okay. <laughs> I had never felt anything so desperate. It was calling out to me. It wanted to show me something. So glad we have subtitles to know who all these people are. I thought I could protect her. Idiot! What would you? 
would you think of me? I've failed you. I've failed us. It's all falling apart. What? Yes, I know. No, I need to be sure. There's gotta be something around here. You want what? Fuck! What does he see? Look who finally decided to let me out of my cave. And only when you need my help. Surprise. Surprise! Okay, you know what? I'm not in the mood. Just tell me what you see. Come on. Come on! Yes. I can feel it. Okay. It's around here. Somewhere. Oh, well, that's real fucking specific. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to help here. Well, you know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, Christ. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. God damn it! There's nothing here! There is. Really? I'm never wrong about these things. You know that. Well, screw this. I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? There. There. Where? What? What? You building tension? Grab the fucking thing! Would you shut up? Like he's obsessed. Creepy creeper ten. What is he? What have I done? We couldn't have known. I let him into my home. You know, he was like a father to me. How could he do this to her? Fucking bastard! Who could he? I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. What do we do now? We wait. And when he comes back, I'll just... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Easy, Tiger. Remember what's at stake here. Just let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't, I will kill him. Mm.
That's so sad. Thomas. I wasn't expecting you. Is uh, everything all right, my friend? Did you do it, friend? Did I? What? My daughter. My 13-year-old daughter. I entrusted her to you. Thomas. Did you do it? I... I don't... I found the sketchbook. Forced myself to look through it. Cover to cover. Every single fucking page! Tell me you didn't hurt her, Richard. Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I... It wasn't me. Thomas, you have to understand. There's a sting inside of me. Shut up. Oh, oh, oh. You, you have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas, I'm so sorry. She's my daughter! <laughs> I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. But you did. Uh, 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 no uh, tricks here. Knowing uh, what she means to me. Uh, Thomas, I, I swear I'll go away. You'll never. Wait. Not you. No. Let me out. Let me out. Let me in! This turned into like more of a movie than like a game part, so this is gonna definitely be longer than normal, so... I can't leave the troller there because it gets all vibrating. We are Thomas now. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, we're gonna stop it there <laughs> and keep everybody guessing. Okay. Uh, this was a whole new twist. Um, Richard is not a good person. Uh, he has internal demons, but I don't think the same type of internal demons that it seems like we have as our character or that, um, Thomas has. Now we finally figured out who Thomas is. We don't really know a whole lot about him yet, but uh, Lily from the gist of it is Thomas's daughter. Lily and Thomas both can go into the spirit world or into purgatory. I call it purgatory. Um, but they go into there just like we do. Uh, it seems like Thomas has a lot of control over this place and we're gonna have to see exactly where this goes. I thought maybe we were getting close to the end, but now maybe Maybe we're not. Maybe we've got a long ways to go. You never know. So uh, if you're enjoying the series and if you enjoy this video, drop a like. Uh, drop some comments below if you have any recommendations on some horror, mystery, or exploration games. I'm more than willing to take a look into a few different options to be playing after this one um, or possibly even on live streams uh, through either YouTube or Twitch. We'll kind of see how it plays out from there as well. Um, and other than that, though, everybody, thanks so much for joining me again, and we will see you next time. Bye, everybody.